and welcome to Back to Learning with Sandusky Library. Uh, today we're going to be talking about LinkedIn Learning. If you hear a little noise in the background, I do have a fan going because where I'm filming is very hot. I just wanted to let you know that. So LinkedIn Learning um, is available from our website, sanduskylib.org. There's a couple of places you can access it. You can hover over Research and Learn, and the very last box is LinkedIn Learning. Or you can scroll down to our boxes down here and click right here onto LinkedIn Learning. LinkedIn Learning is a program we get uh, that has courses that you can take. Um, you do have to have a library card in order to access it, but anyone in Ohio um, has access to it through your public library. So we're going to click Get Started. And the first thing you're going to do is put in your library card number. It's the number on the back of your card. You're not going to use any spaces. And then you're going to put in your PIN number, which is, should be the last four digits of your telephone number or whatever you have created it to be. It's just verifying that you have uh, a card here in the state of Ohio. And it's going to bring this up. Now, if it's the first time you've gone in, it will ask you some questions like um, what things you're interested in. It might also ask you, um, it asks you to set a goal as to how much you want to learn per day or per month. You don't have to do any of that. You can just skip that and head right here to this. So LinkedIn Learning has basically three types of programs. They have business programs, creative programs, and technology. Some of the classes are uh, visual, which things you have to watch. Some are just audio that you just have to listen to. So these are a lot of the business topics, business analysis and strategy, software and tools, career development, customer service, leadership and management, sales, training and education, lots of, uh, lots of different types of uh, classes you can take in business. In creative, um, animation and illustration, graphic design, photography, uh, video, visual, visualization in real time, web design, a lot of practical hands-on things in that section. And then for technology, um, lots of practical technology things as well, web development, security, uh, data science, cloud computing, database management, lots of different things. You can also just go up here and search. So for example, let's say I've come here because I need to learn how to use Excel. So if you put in Microsoft Excel and click, press enter, you will get a, a type of uh, a whole section of things on Microsoft Excel. So here's some basic training. It will take you two hours and 17 minutes to complete this training. Um, you can save the training so you can come back to it. You can add it to a collection. Um, if you just want to learn specific things in Excel, there are different classes for that as well. And then once you click on the one you want to do, let's say I'm going to save this one. I'm going to click on here and it will start. It's um, it, over here, it lists the different modules that you'll be doing and how long each one is. There is a small quiz at the end of each of these to help you see that you understand things. And this is just a basic Excel class that you can take. It will take you approximately two hours and however many minutes it said there. There are some exercise files here. There's a certificate that shows you've completed it. It shows how many continuing education credits it's worth and then you can also take an exam. This is a beginner plus an immediate class. It was just updated in October of 2020. It takes two hours and 17 minutes. You'll see that this is the learning objectives for this class counts as one continuing education credit. And here is the teacher and information about him. There's also a transcript. So if you wanna be able to uh, read what they're saying, you can also do that. And there is a notebook which you can take notes in and save for later. Over here on the side are some classes that they're recommending. If you, take this one they, and you wanna learn some other things, here are some possible classes you could take. Um, one of them is this um, weekly, they do like a weekly little update on different topics. 
that's kind of interesting. Um, if you go up here, it will list your learning. I started earlier something about graphic design, learning how to use InDesign. And so uh, here's my progress. I do have one class saved, the one on Excel. I don't have any collections, but I can certainly create some collections and I could have a graphic design um, collection. I could have a uh, Microsoft collection. Here's my history if I've completed any courses and these are skills that I'm interested in um, and I can always change those as well. I can add new skills. It will give you notifications if you've set notifications. It does tell you your progress, what you've saved, collections, history, skills. You can change the language. There are quite a few languages available. You need to do it in a language other than English. There's a help center as well, and then you can sign out when you're done. Uh, this is a great program. Um, if you haven't had a chance to look through it, um, I would recommend that you do so. And if you have any questions, as always, you're welcome to call the Sandusky Library at 419-625-3834. I'd be happy to help you.